Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Tales of Asperia. All right, so I'm right here because uh, I noticed that uh, there's this here that I never noticed before, but uh, we can't get in. So again, there's a lot left to the game. Uh, we need to get to Mjorzo, so let's see if we can find where that is right now. Where are you, Mjorzo? All right, you are up here, this way. So unfortunately, I had to uh, replay some bits, and I'm actually doing this episode over, essentially. Because I got to the end of an episode, hit the stop record button, took a look, and oh look, I had just started recording. Yeah, it didn't record the whole episode, which was pretty crappy. Hey, come back here, where are you? There you are. So that's unfortunate. I, found, I actually found some pow hammer beaks, and I have not been able to find them again, which is annoying. They were in one of the uh, little bird circling thingies. Oh well. I'll get them later. I think they were really only useful for one thing anyway. <laughs> uh, what are you doing there, Elder? Greetings, Elder. What were you grumbling about? That wasn't grumbling, that was like humming along to a song. Oh, you've returned. Look what I found when I was cleaning my dresser. Oh, ew, oh, oh, put your dirty underwear away, ew. You had a sword in your dresser? That's actually a little bit weirder. Hey, but this is... This is what? It's certainly a red and evil-looking blade. Also, a not very good sword. I mean, that's would make a bad sword. This isn't just any old sword. It looks like, you know... It really doesn't, though. Yeah. No kidding. Not so much the shape, but the vibe it's given off. The what now? Just what kind of sword is this? Oh, probably a crummy one that he picked up at a fair. I was hoping you would ask. If memory serves, it is one of the seven fell arms of legend. The who, the what now, and this was just in your dresser? You mean the weapon spawned by the 14-headed monster from the fairy tales? Okay, that wasn't exactly what I was going to ask, because I hadn't heard anything about this, but, um... Yeah. Hmm. I don't know how the story is told below, but here, the legend is as follows. At the height of the ancient Blastia civilization, an attempt was made to produce special weapons. Mm -hmm. Eventually, this led to the creation of armaments of untold power. Seven in total. Oh, you don't say armaments of untold power. <laughs> Sorry, didn't, didn't mean to let that out. Um, what were you saying? So these weapons are a legacy of the ancients. Well, Dane Nomos is real. Maybe this story is, too. It's not much of a legend. Is Dane Nomos one of these fell arms, then? I'd say it's possible if what the Elder said is true. Uh, I don't get it. How are those related? But if this really is one of the fell arms... Also, I think uh, in my original recording, I asked that if... Uh, with the exact same words as Yuri... Yuri needs to stop doing that. Why was it in your dresser, Elder? That is a really good question. I can't remember for the life of me. It's been decades since I've cleaned this thing out. Eh, seems normal. I mean, sh it's probably been that long since I've cleaned out my closet. You haven't cleaned out your dresser in decades? I don't know what to say. Estelle and my mother would be in good company right now. If these weapons are really as powerful as they sound, it might be a good idea for us to get a hold of them before they fall into the wrong hands. Yeah, there have been quite a few sets of wrong hands out there lately, too. Yeah, but they've all been working together. Might we take this with us, Elder? Huh? Oh, fine by me. Yes, I have found one of the most powerful weapons ever created by the ancient civilization. But yeah, you can just have it. It's fine. I don't, I don't mind. There's no sweat off my back. You're giving it to us just like that? That in a few more words. I mean, I may be a bit more vociferous than Carol, I suppose. 
To tell the truth, I'm glad it turned up, but I'd been wondering what I'd do with it. I was kind of considering using it as a toothpick, but uh, I don't know. Maybe you can use it. It's okay. I've got no real use for it. Besides, Besides using it as a toothpick. It would be a shame to just leave something like this lying around. Yes, you know, it would be a shame to just leave something super powerful just lying around, perhaps in a bell jar on the mantelpiece, where it's been sitting for 50 years since I returned from a trip. I figure you are just the ones to put it to proper use. Do you know anything about the other fell arms? Let me see here. Probably not. According to the legend, the seven weapons share a common bond. If this is truly one of the fell arms, it may react if brought near the others. But Dane Nomos hasn't reacted at all. Well, maybe that means that Dane Nomos isn't one of the fell arms. Hmm. Then perhaps it isn't a fell arm after all. That's what I just said. Then how are we supposed to find them? Well, we have one on the ground right here. Well, there's no point thinking it to death. So long as we have one of them, the bad guys won't be able to get them all, right? Seems reasonable, but what would having them all actually do? Maybe that's good enough. I agree. All right then, Elder. We'll take it off your hands. Thanks. Hmm. Ho ho. Abyssion. A sword red as blood. The blade is filled with rage. So yeah, there were there are seven fell arms because there were originally seven characters in the game, and each one could have one. Two people are gonna be missing out now, it seems like. Sorry, Flynn, sorry, Patty. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's check out the power of this fell arm. Uh, also, I made a Bardiche plus one. It had a few things that uh, Yuri didn't have, so why not? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Where is it? Abyssion. There it is. It is... Actually, it is just as good as the Bardiche, but uh, magic attack and uh, hit points go down by quite a bit. Magic attack goes way down. Um, however... Highlander is still better. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. I did make a few things. I tweaked a few things. Not much, though. Still working on uh, trying to get some, learn some altered arts. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I would really like to find those uh, pow hammer beaks. I'm not sure exactly where it was that I found them, and I'm not sure exactly what triggers the. Uh, I mean, it was in a little, you know, one of the ocean thingies with birds, but I don't know what triggers those to appear. If it's a time thing. Or an event thing? I think it's a time thing, but I'm not positive. I'm just gonna give a little bit of a zoom around the map looking for some stuff. But we're basically done with the side quest, so we can definitely go to uh, Zaude now. Alright, so we get, uh, get this really dense fog that I can't see through. Don't have anything over here. Oh, hey, Mjorzo. How's it going? Did not get anything in those. Alright. I'm not really seeing anything. Let's give a zoom around the center of the sea real fast. Just to see if anything has popped up. 
doesn't look like it. All right. Down we go. All right, into Zaude we go. The Enduring Shrine of Zaude. Of course there would be Royal Knights here. Why wouldn't there be? Man, up close, this thing is bigger than I thought. Yeah, imagine the size of the woman who would wear this as a wedding ring. Is this really one big Blastia? There's no way! It's gotta be a Hopelin Blastia designed to threaten everyone in the world! That seems a little bit hyperbolic, Patty. It must possess unimaginable power. Hey, look! It's a ship! Yeah! I'm surprised we didn't see it coming in. Is it the Knights? No. I can't believe they'd make it here this fast. It's probably the Royal Guard. That must mean... Yep, the entrance is closely guarded. Oh, no, it is closely guarded by royal guards who we have slaughtered so many times in the past. Whatever shall we do? They're swarming like sea roaches! Is there really such a thing as a sea roach? There aren't that many. We could blow them away before they knew what hit them. Yeah, exactly. Easy. We're not here to get noticed. I'm surprised that we weren't noticed already with our ship coming in. Let's see if there isn't some other way in. Because of course there is. Darius Technology. We've seen plenty of Blastia so far, but this one's in a different class altogether. It doesn't really if look all that much the bigger the than Darius the civilization. Cities. It may contain clues to all their technology. Chances are pretty good if the building we saw on that relief in Murzo is actually Zaude. So is there a connection between the Cataclysm and the Autophagos? Probably not. If it does come from the end of the Goraios civilization, maybe it can turn back the Autophagos. I wonder if that's why they carved the relief. It all adds up, but I keep going back to Pharaoh's words. About disturbing Zaude? Thinking about it isn't likely to get us anywhere. We just have to go on. Yes, and by going on... Oops, there's a bunch of knights here. Better find another way in. I'm sure they didn't just see us. No, no. Of course not. Now we can get back on our ship that way. Or we can go this way into more shallows. Hi, treasure chest. A barrier. I'll take it. Save point. It's okay. This is very blue water over there. Anyway, let's check out this convenient vent. There's a breeze. It's a vent. No kidding. Leave it to me. Are we going to enter through here? What do you think? It might not be what you're used to as a knight, but yeah. Rita, don't worry. I'm fine. Please, I'm I'm not worried. She was totally worried. You clearly are. I... Oh, shut up. Hurry up and get that thing open. You're the only one shouting. Got it! Wonderful. Let's take a look. You know, I'm kind of surprised that he picked the lock, as opposed to, oh, I don't know, it being too rusty for that and us having to uh, bash it open with our weapons. A giant hammer smash. What are you? Holy water shall rain forth from the heavens when the power of creation is offered to the red stone. Oh, I want to get up there. Come on, we can jump that. Kind of imagine her cocking her head to the side like a dog. Huh? Come on, we could get up there. Let's pile up some of these uh, pieces of uh, stonework. Well, this is uh, awfully nice. A big, giant treasure room filled with goodies. A Zaude orb. 
life bottle. Actually, I didn't actually read the Zaude orb. Let's go ahead and do that. A gem found in Zaude Shrine. It fell off the pedestal for some reason. Limit bottle? I'll just take it. It's fine. A splash dress. Special gel. Always nice. A moon cloak. Ooh, I like the colors. A garment made with a fabric soaked in moonlight. One who wears this is protected by magic. I'll equip them in a moment. 15,000 gold. Panacea bottle. I'll just take it. And 20,000 gold. Okay. Equipment-wise... Splash dress. A garment coated with a splash of water. Even the sleeves resemble a splash. Seems kind of bad, but... I do like the red on that Elder Cloak. It is a real shame that, that equipping these don't change her appearance. Uh, Moon Cloak. Let's go with that. Not that any of those are cloaks, but, you know. We could totally climb up that. Come on. We could totally jump across that. <sighs> game, game, game. Games always have these insurmountable barriers that are just knee-high, or some such. Alright, well, we have uh, the uh, Zaude Orb. Let's pop it in there. Hey, look! It's glowy. Well, Judith's pants are soaked now. This is, um, really weird swimming. I'm just gonna say that. Uh, hitting that would, uh, lower the water. And what the heck are you, anyway? It's our turn! It doesn't seem... It's perfectly fair. Night Warrior A and Perfect Murder! Uh, magic Lens... I haven't uh, done any of them, so let's just do that. Uh, 26,000... and... 29,000. No idea what they may have, thievery-wise, so I'm gonna go over to you. What the heck does Guiding Moon do? Silver Ore? I have no idea what that's doing. Is this a healing thing? I mean, it's not healing me. Stay, stay near me. Well, I mean, I just gotta use it, so... I mean, no one's attacking me, so... Why not? Oh, is this a... Recovering T... Oh, it's recovering TP. Yeah, it is recovering TP. Okay, not a whole lot. But I do need to uh, do this. Where, where, where are you? Where are you? Stay close to me. Stay close to me. Uh, iron Leg, Geostone, Night Holy Water, Iron Grip, Lemon Gel, and Rice. Okay, well, let's see if we get anything else out of them. Night Warrior A? Yep. 
Uh, let's see. Night Holy Water, Iron Grip, Lemon Gel, Rice, and Iron Grip. Okay, so not all that great. Uh, inorganic type. Perfect Murder. Iron Leg, Geostone, Silver Ore, and Silver Ore. Not sure that I care about any of those really at all, but uh, whatever. I've been wondering about this for a while now. Uh, who's what's that? What? How come the Royal Guard is so loyal to Alexei? That is a good question. That's true. You'd think they'd have come to their senses by now. Right. Well, did you know that most of the Imperial Knights are taken as apprentices from the nobility? Mm, no, I mean, certainly uh, Yuri and Flynn weren't. Yeah, I wish I could forget. Well, the Royal Guard protects the Emperor and they're made up of the finest soldiers in the Imperial Knights. Yeah, they're not doing a very good job of protecting the Emperor. Hasn't it been several years since we've had an Emperor, though? Exactly. In that time, the Commandants cleverly made those Knights into his own personal army. It doesn't seem like that'd be enough to turn them into such little lapdogs, though. Right, especially when he's clearly working against the future successor of the Empire. Well... The ideals he offered them were attractive in their own ways. Lead our empire to prosperity, and what have you. They were all so enamored with him, earnestly believing his every word. Maybe someone slipped something into their drinks. Even now, I imagine they believe in him. I cannot blame them for that. Ah, uh, I can. But if you realize what kind of person he is, Flynn, then why can't they... The world would probably be a better place if all those guys figured out the truth on their own. <sighs> Well, time to just kick their butts. Don't actually want to go that way yet. Oh, hi, giant crab with uh, heads for claws. There we go. It's our turn. It doesn't seem. It's very, very fair. Lizard man. Actually, I need to have you magic lens first. Here. Yep, lizard man, water gunner, and gigafish. I don't know if you have kept up that thing, but go after that. Steel lizard man weapons. Thank you. All right. That works. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this for a little bit. Don't mind me. Fine, be that way, you jerk. Get get your butt back here. I said, get your butt back here. That's what you get. Don't stand around there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. You guys, you guys have fun there. I'm gonna guide you moon a few more times. I need to learn it, so you guys can handle this, right? Considering that this doesn't really cost anything. I mean, it costs five and she gets nine back. I mean, we were just facing crabs and they don't have spines, so. Levitation, HP condition. And Fanato Logos is done. I really should go for something that increases magic attack. And there's nothing that increases magic attack. But I could go with the uh, happiness things. I'm going to go with the happiness things. Why not? Hello? 
Pineapple gel. Alright, I see who can get that. There we go. I will take that. Probably should have done some healing first, but meh, whatever. Got plenty of resources. Nice. Alright, there's nothing that I really care about uh, stealing from these guys, so... No, leave me alone. Well, I'm glad you're okay there, Estelle. guys, like, do something about them? Alright, good. They're... They're having fun over there. I'm just gonna guide you moon, then. <laughs> this is pretty terrible, just sitting here guiding moon while, uh... Well, hey, thanks for more uh, stealing more tuna. Not that I think we're using any, but... You can take them out, right, guys? Come on. Judith is just sitting here, uh... Oh, I'm just practicing, it's fine. Just don't, don't worry about me. <laughs> Giving them more opportunities to learn things. Alright, that's probably enough for now. <laughs> probably could have uh, gotten another one in. Hmm. I mean, I need to get a hundred. Zip down into the water like that. Hi, Neener, 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 you can't get me. Let's come over here for now. Yeah, perfect. So can we just go all out? Absolutely. Thievery on the lizard man. Stealing, please. There we go. Steal from the other one, please. I assume that uh, that is the other one there. There's just one. You guys can handle this, right? More honor for this blade. Yeah, if you say so. Large claws, scallop, lizard man's weapon, tough leather times two. Excellent. Alrighty. Pope. We should really enjoy these little times together. Should we though? Go steal from the Lizard Man. I want Lizard Man weapons. There we go. Nice. 
Nah, you don't need to steal from anything else right now, Rapide. Just get Lizard Man weapons. Come on. Get up. Get up. <laughs> I feel almost bad about that. Goodbye, indeed. Yeah, you've already stealing from it. Stolen from it. Repeat. Don't need to keep trying. There we go. Limit recover. Alright, that is from the Order Shield. Uh, let me put that on you for now. Nope. Alright. Well, that's big drop in defense. Alright, anything better with defense than the Iron Plate? The Spike Shield. Yes. Iron plate is better for you. All right. A lemon gel. Let's not pick that up just yet. That's fine. Take that. All right. One other treasure chest to get, and then we'll call it an episode. There we go. Knock you out. They're wide open. Let's party. Come on, repeat. They can breathe. Breathe fire, I should say. There we go. Go steal from another one, please. Go and probably that one. Oops. All right, then that one. Come on, repeat. Hammers that look like the, uh, or axes that look like the, uh, axe beak birds. Would you steal, repeat? Come on. Uh, well, we got two. Three. Defend two. Alright, anything that I can swap off with you there, Carol? No, not yet. How are these things floating, anyway? Maybe they're made of pumice. I see you there, beast. But luckily you're ignoring me. Ha ha. Dunamis, a beautiful yet brutal halberd. It comes shinier with each enemy slain and every soul absorbed. We have a great opening now. A Jaunt. Uh, aquatic type. It is resistant to water, weak to fire. 3,600 hit points. Excellent! You stole already! I like it. I have no idea what these guys have offhand. 
So, I keep trying to steal from the Jones. Jet Black Ink. I think I need Pitch Black Ink, though. Or maybe I had Pitch Black Ink and I needed Jet Black Ink. I don't know. Rude. That's rude. I don't know what you're doing, but stop it. You're not allowed. That's well, a good thing you're okay, Estelle. So am I. I'm okay, you're okay. There we go. They can't actually summon new uh, enemies. I think that's what the uh, pink flames were doing. Uh, Jet Blank Ink times two. Lizard Man's Weapon times one. Very nice. Alright, we're going to get back to the save point, and I'll probably actually slip out of this place. Eh, don't mind me. And go see if I can use any of these Lizard Man's weapons to make anything. So I'm pretty sure there were a few things that... Uh... Eh, don't mind me. easily get out. Alright, uh, but that will be when we come back next time. See you then, everyone.